Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video on the channel. My name is Michael and today I'm going to be doing a repair and maintenance on the Walco 10 bag manure spreader. Uh, yeah, I haven't really done anything mechanical on this channel, so I thought it'd be interesting. I'm starting a brand new segment and all my videos will be segmented. So this is going to be mechanical mayhem. Why is it mechanical mayhem? Because that's exactly what's going to be. Mayhem. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. Not true, but yes. Kind of true. Well, it, you get the point. Uh, so there's going to be Mechanical Mayhem, there's going to be two other sections, there's going to be gaming, a uh, small section, there's not going to be much going on there, but there will be the occasional gaming video, and there's also going to be uh, just the farming kind of interesting things, like the sheep, the sh uh, anything animal related will be underneath um, the farming, I, I guess I call it, I'll call it vlog or something, but um, yeah, welcome back to, welcome to uh, Mechanical Mayhem, the... Uh, First ever video we're working on the manure spreader. Um, yeah, we're taking off some stuff and we're working on it and trying to look professional at the same time and absolutely failing at everything. Uh, so yeah, sit back, relax, and let's get let's get cracking. Alright, so it's day two of the project. A multitude of madness. Um, we're gonna take this box. We're gonna take this guy off and we're gonna make a new one today. That's what I'm doing right now. Um, there's a couple of grease nipples on this. I, one of the family was going to town, so I had him take the nipples in, go to a parts place, and he'll get fresh nipples because one of them was broken. Uh, and then we'll work at taking all of these off. So we can get underneath to work the next, the next section, uh, underneath there. So that was really good. We got the um, entire gearbox up here. Um, so I'm going to go in and have a cup of tea or some lunch or something. Yeah, look at all that. And then I'm going to come out and take apart this gear this gear housing and take this off. We're going to take a look inside. Take all, all these guys off. We're going to take a look inside make sure she has enough oil. I might even say what kind of oil. Please do. No, it does not. Um, we'll have a look inside. We'll see if there's enough oil, um, if there's any wear on the gearing. Um, this thing is... This piece of equipment is five or six years old, and it hasn't had a servicing since it was bought. It was brand new when it was bought, but it hasn't had a servicing since then. So it's going to be really interesting to take a look inside 
and see if there's any wear because the the oil's never been checked, changed, or anything. So it's gonna be really interesting to see just what the gearbox has to say. Um, okay, this this bearing here is completely gone. It needs to be replaced. It probably would last a little longer. But um we're just gonna do it now because I have it ripped everything taken apart, so we're gonna do that now. But this plate here, which is supposed to slide, which, you know, was put on this way, it slides up and down, um, comes off this way, will not come. It's just rust welded itself on. It's so tightly on that um, it's just being a real pain. So we've put, we've successfully got the pin out up here, which was a real problem. It was one of these lovely boys. It's just a... A pin driven through. I had to drill the inside out and then hammer it out. That was a pain. We got that out and we have some penetrating oil. Specifically some RP90 penetrating oil. Uh, so hopefully I'm going to let that soak overnight. And we'll see tomorrow morning if that hasn't done it. If, if I can get that off. Um, I have the hole, so I'll actually be able to see if the holes are starting to miss a line, meaning that it's moving. If I can't get any movement out of it to, by tomorrow, then I will take it down to a uh, mechanic shop down the road where he has a hydraulic press, and he should be able to press that out of there and just help with that, because that, that's just a pain. It's, it's stiff. There's no movement between this and this. It's It's... It it's complete. It's completely sealed, but yeah, this 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 Did you do anything? Yeah, look up. Yeah, I see. Huh. Few inches later. Yeah. It's... Oh it's so close. Yeah, the the the, the oil can't go up the sides now. It's coming. Swollen with the heat, the bastard. Wow. I mean, Good job. You got it off, huh? I was saying it was a quick way to do That is a major clean. Okay. That whole bearing is gone. Look at that. Good vibes when seasons change, but we're the same. Even if I lost the money, doesn't run deep, honey. And not only to speak a single word. Okay, so now I've put all the bolts in, um, just down all the way under. Uh, this was just so that we can carry some of the penetrating oil down to make sure they all run well. Uh, because the last time I took them off, they were very stiff, didn't want to come. Uh, also, we penetrated, put stuff here as well, in between each plate, just so that they don't seize. Because these uh, bearings tend to go about once a year. So it's going to have to be replaced soonish enough. They never last very long. Um, so yeah, um, just making sure I'll be able to get these up in a year or two without having to go through the whole thing again of chiseling, grinding, just hours just getting them up. And also we don't want this 
wrestling. But then again, it's not going to be the five years that it was or more that it was the last time um, since I've done this. This is the first time we've done it since it was purchased. So it's not going to be that long again, but it's definitely going to be a year or two, and we just don't want to have the same problem. So I'm going to take them all off again. We're going to um, take everything apart, and then we're going to start putting it on the spreader plate there. Alright, so now we're going to get uh, the vents, hopefully take them off, and uh, free them up. So let's uh, get on that. Move a few things around to make some room. Put some things away that I'm not using. I've already used. Try to keep this work shed clean and tidy. Six and a half hours later. It's gonna be harder than the rest because of how big he is. I can't get on both sides very easily. Um, if something has to hold the inside because it's just a big nut, well, if someone has to hold one side while the other side twists, there's no way my hands are going to reach on both sides. I mean, even if they could, I think I'd need two hands. So, I wish, uh, hey mom, could you uh, give me another two hands, please? I uh, don't have them. Never mind. So, the container says to leave it for a minute or two. Well, technically two minutes. So that it can uh, do its magic, so to speak. see much happening but I'll give it the it's been a minute I 
I don't know. And probably the wrong tool to use as well, but the exception of that plumber's wrench, this is the, about the biggest thing I, the big the thing with the biggest mouth. Oh! Dang it! <laughs> so that's just gonna about wrap it up for this video, guys. Um, we've done a lot so far. We've taken off the hopper. We've gotten all the way down to the bearing that I wanted to replace. Uh, we've done some cleanup. We've We've have broken a couple things. Probably didn't get shown on video, but we did break a couple of things, like a few nuts and bolts. But they're gonna be replaced with something better anyway. Uh, what do you think? Hello. Yeah, they're not really interested. They're just here for show. Um, but yeah, if you did enjoy, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss next week's video. There will be, uh, it will be next week instead of the typical one month uh duration in between videos that I normally seem to have. One week next week. And, uh, so yeah, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss that. Also, hit that like button down below. It really helps my channel a lot more than I think anyone realizes. And it's completely free. Also, share this video with everyone you know, because otherwise I will suffer depression, and I really don't want that. So please, share this video with other people so that my channel can grow. Please. And, um, without any further ado, we'll see you all next week. Bye. Um. Boys, I just cleaned your room this morning. Oh my gosh. What have you done to the walls? There's... My... Boys... What part of clean your room do you not understand? I... I, I do understand that you kind of didn't like the blue, but... Brown is a... is a... is a little bit... Yeah, I don't like the brown. We're not sticking with the brown. What have I gotten myself into now?